Hello Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning into your daily tarot message. This is going to be a message all about communication and I feel like there is someone who is thinking about you and wants to communicate some messages. So um, I'm going to lay out a few cards and then sort of go intuitively into this daily reading and see what's going to pop up for you today in terms of this person's thoughts and um, communications. So we'll see what the cards can reveal. But before I get started, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, if you were after a private reading, I am currently accepting those. So please reach out. I'll send you the booking details um, if you'd like to a, arrange a reading. Um, Otherwise, let's have a look. Uh, fire signs. Um, this particular person, what do they want to communicate, say to you? Um, and let's just go with it. Let's just see what spirit has to say um, on the behalf of this person. Let's see if we can get some words from them, from this particular person. Okay, I wanted to use three cards. Where's the third one? Here it is. Okay. So many things remind me of you. I wish I had treated you better. Okay, I wanted to do three, but there's four here, so I'm going to go with it. Um, I love you. I am afraid to contact you. Okay, this is this is someone I'm getting X. There's an X. X vibes, person you no longer talk to, person you've recently broken up with. Um, they're coming through quite strongly. Okay, there is someone who's not doing too well fire signs okay um this is someone who is sort of um okay i'm getting the, the words that are coming to mind are like self-doubt they're self-doubting themselves um there's regret that's coming through here as well this is someone who is down and depressed about you okay you haven't been in contact with this person because they're afraid to contact you um, this is someone who has wronged you. They are finally starting to realize what they did wrong or how much they hurt you. And in fact, it's starting to hurt them. It's sort of eating away at them. Okay, um, this is someone who... They've kind of gone through life and tried... tried how do I say this? Okay, I'm going to be honest, they've gone through life and they kind of use people or they have used people before. And normally before you, um, before they met you, before they were with you, they could do it. They could sort of cut off their emotions um, and they could use people and it wouldn't sort of affect them. They wouldn't really care. They just go through life doing that. But since they've been with you, they have a lot more guilt than they've ever had in their life. It's like you activated something within this person and they they can't they've, they've tried to sweep it under the rug and it just comes back it comes back your thoughts your words your memories it just comes flooding back so they're in an overwhelmed kind of energy and they try not to think about it but then the song comes on they see a post they go to the shops and they see something that they know you'd like like it's just these subtle yet persistent signs from the universe um and that's because they're they're looking for you in everything that they do so definitely someone who's still hung up on you but this is strong ego coming through and that's why they're not contacting you i also feel like there's guilt they carry that guilt and they're not they're not sure how to approach the situation like do they apologize they don't normally they've got a lot of pride so you know there's a bit of that coming into play here they still love you though um, they're claiming that they're taking ownership of that love that they have towards you because that message is love. Like I love you. So this is someone who still has very strong, deep emotions for you. I feel like today they may be communicating to you, telling you some of these things like, they wish they had treated you better. Um, they're sorry that they hurt you. They're afraid. Um, they love you like a powerful, it could be quite subtle, but like a powerful message from their side that they still 
have these feelings. And I think if they didn't love you, they would be able to just switch off and not feel anything. Um, but that's not what's happening. That's not what's happening to them. The word blinded comes to mind. So I don't know if this was like love came blindly between the both of you or you were like blind in love. I don't know if this was a ghosting situation. It may be someone that you had a very strong, like powerful bond with. Like it was just so real and it was just crazy in love. And it was the only, it was like the two of you only existed together. And then it was just blinding. And then I don't know if you didn't really see the cracks or whatever it was that sort of broke the two of you apart. Um, but yeah, blinded, blinded is coming to mind. Blind in love, blind drunk, like blind to the signs could be someone that had a, had a lot of red flags, but you went, you went down the rabbit hole anyway, fire signs. There was something about them that was electric and just, you couldn't resist it. So you're like, you know, what the hell, stop it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go there. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to go there. And I think, I think a part of you knew you'd get hurt, but it either felt too good or, yeah, you didn't want to lose it. You wanted to fall in love. You wanted to experience it. And you, I feel like some of you even had a conversation to yourself distinctly about this person going, I know they're bad for me, or I know they're going to do this to me, but I'm going to go for it anyway, or I'll be fine. I'll make it out the other side. But I don't know, something about this just, uh, you haven't healed. I get that you haven't healed from this person entirely, or you haven't moved on entirely from what you've had together. I think it is someone from your past. I don't think it's someone you're in contact with now. Um, I think this is either like a recent breakup. It could be a breakup from a while ago. Um, but it still feels new somehow. For some reason, it still feels fresh, um, especially for them. Okay, still feels very recent. Um, or they're still acting like you would out of a recent breakup. They're still doing these like sort of typical behaviors maybe that that show that they're still hurting, um, that they're still going through all these things. Okay, but they're, they're sort of going MIA. They're not contacting you. I definitely feel like they check their phone. Um, they might even be having a conversation today and you pop up for them and then their friends ask and they're like, you know, no, I'm afraid to contact or no, I haven't. I haven't. Like, what do I say? They're just, they're just going to hate on me. Like, you know, they're not, they're not feeling hopeful. They're more pessimistic about the situation and they definitely feel like you'll probably shun them should they reach out. Like you'll probably give them the cold shoulder. You like won't reply or you'll block them. So you know, they're not feeling too hopeful. Um, this is like, they screwed things up badly. They hurt you a lot. They really screwed their chances. And I wonder why they sabotage things so badly. They thought they could get away with it. They thought that it wouldn't hurt being away from you, that they could do it just like they have before. But I'm telling you, this is the first the first of its kind for this person, the first time that they've ever felt so remorseful, so pained, so broken is what I'm getting. That's the words that are coming to mind. So, wow, this is, this is deep. This is deep. This is deeper than I thought it would be when I started this reading. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, it's a big day for them. I'm getting that it's a big day today. It's, They've got something, it could be like an event or at the particular date, there's something going on for them today. Um, and it's heightening, it's heightening all their feelings, I think, is, is what I'm getting. Um, really powerful reading for you, Fire Signs, but I do hope that makes sense. Like I said, I've tried to be more intuitive with it. Hopefully it does resonate with some of you watching. Um, if it does, please drop a like or subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you on my little YouTube family, which is growing. So thank you to each and every one of you. Um, and hopefully we shall be in touch very, very soon. So thank you again, everyone. Lots of love and bye for now.